Shalom family trendsetter. I'm driving so you will hear some noise in the background. Please bear with me. Now, I want to give you my assessment on the Mueller. Um, what was that hearing yesterday? And today is actually Thursday. So that occurred yesterday, whatever the date that was. I think it was on the 24th, if I'm not mistaken. Now, a couple of things that actually stood out to me. Right. And the first thing I want to mention is the fact that the Mueller that I saw a couple years ago is not the same person I saw during the testimony. Now, I know, you know, it's been a couple of years or two years or so. People do age, especially so-called white people, because y'all age for nothing. Y'all can go in the sun young today and then come back out of the sun in a couple of hours and look older and shit. But it's just something about the Mueller that was testifying you know, to Congress, it didn't seem like he was the same person. Now, y'all already know how my mind goes, right? Y'all already know how I think. Now, if you look at this Mueller, this is exact photo, right, during the uh, the hearing of Mueller. If you look at him, this man d- does not look like the, like the same Mueller that was confident. Even, what, a couple months ago when he was making that statement and he stated that he wasn't going to go or deviate from the report. He looked at he like he was more confident. He, he looked, you know what I'm saying? He didn't look as aged or worried. But this guy right here, whoever he is, I guess that's Muller. <laughs> it doesn't appear to be like the same person. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I have a discerning spirit. And when I saw him after he swore in and he gave his opening statement and he started to um, answer the question, this man started to stumble for word. I had this real negative feeling towards him, almost as if like this man is either being mind controlled he might have been threatened or shit he might be a damn clone because a lot of the question that was posed to him he had no recollection oftentimes they had to repeat the question more than once you know what i'm saying then he would say refer back to the uh, the report refer back to the report and i understand that he did you know initially a couple months ago say that he wasn't going to deviate from the report should he be um subpoenaed to testify before congress and i understand that but there was times when he actually answered some questions without going, you know, without directing them to the report. But family, I'm telling you, if y'all was to watch, and if you haven't watched it, at least watch, a, I would say, half an hour of it. Go about black people, because, you know, we black folks, we don't worry about shit like this. You know, but, but I do because, you know, at the end of the day, this devil being in office for another four years is really going to affect us. And I know if it, if it is the most I will fit to happen, it's going to happen. But I'm telling you, family, something wrong with this picture with this guy, Muller. It, he wasn't himself. Like I said, I don't know which direction to look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm, he might have been under a lot of pressure because he's still a Republican. And, you know, after he say what he say on record, you know, a lot of these white supremacists, they will go after him as well. Because they're going to look at him as a traitor. You know, they got this devil y'all call y'all president, the commanding thief, Donald Trump in office that represent the, the majority of America. Which are which is so-called uh, white supremacist, and I and I figure for the most part, not all so-called white people are white supremacists, but they like the fact to know that they have a man like Trump in office where they can express themselves. You know, they just like how we so-called African American. Well, no, fuck that. Y'all so-called African American that's named after two continents. Y'all looked at uh, what is it? Was it Obama as the first black president? When incidentally he wasn't, because he was a half breed. He was mixed, and he gear he gave gear and catered more towards the the whiter the whiter part of him. Okay, y'all think he did stuff for black people? He didn't do anything for black folk. Or there was a lot of you know unarmed blacks that got gunned down under his administration. He didn't pass no law. And I understand as a president he have to separate himself. But at the end of the day, listen, Donald Trump said. There was good people on both sides. You see what I'm saying? That's the difference between uh, Obama and Donald Trump. This motherfucker was bad for his people. His white supremacist, racist people. And majority of them are Republicans. Okay? So, I would like for y'all, not to take my word for it, but just go back and watch, you know, at least a half an hour. The first, especially the first um, hearing, because it was two different hearings throughout the day. And second hearing, he was more upbeat. You could see, like, you know, he was getting in the groove of, groove of thing. That's probably when they switched out and shit, the clone. I don't know. But the first one, you could clearly see that this man was under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. And it's, it's natural. I mean, you know, you're testifying against the commanding thief and shit of the United Snakes of America. 
You know, we know how dirty Donald Trump is. I mean, this motherfucker used to have affiliation with with mobs and shit. His hotel, anyway. See, a lot of y'all don't know the the, the, um, the dirt on Trump because I mean, I'm from New York City, and I'm I'm old enough to remember this devil when he used to be braggadocious back in the days. And I remember a lot of the stuff that was going on with him, but I'm not going to get into it on in this, in this video. But what do y'all think, family? For those of you who actually seen the hearing, and if you haven't, I suggest you go and look at it because y'all going to see exactly what I'm saying. This was not Robin Mueller. It seems as if the report that he was referring to, like he didn't even write the shit because a lot of the shit he didn't even remember. Yeah, you know I mean, I understand it's a lot of pages for you to remember once again, but the thing is, you're supposed to identify with some, if someone presents something to you, if it's in your report, you're supposed to be able to identify with it right away. But it seems to me, family, this is fishy, like either he's on the mind control, he was threatened, or he's a motherfucking clown. And it could be all the above and shit. But what do y'all think? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And with that, I say shalom.